Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's figure out if a compound has a covalent bond or an ionic bond. And what we'll do is we'll just look at some compounds and how they're written out and then figure out if they are ionic or covalent. So let's get started. We have this first one. The name is iodine heptafluoride. Remember, with a covalent bond, you have two nonmetals. And with an ionic bond, you have a metal and a nonmetal. Okay, you have iodine, which is found in group 17, and it is a reactive nonmetal. And then fluorine is also found in group 17, and it's a reactive nonmetal. So you have nonmetal and nonmetal, so it is a covalent bond. Next, we have sodium chloride. Okay. Sodium is found in group 1, and it is an alkali metal. And chlorine is found in group 17, and it is a reactive nonmetal. So we have a metal and nonmetal, so it is an ionic bond. Next, we have potassium iodide. Potassium is found in group 1. It is an alkali metal. And iodine is found in group 17. It is a reactive nonmetal. Again, we have a metal and a nonmetal, so it is ionic. Next, let's go with sulfur hexafluoride. Sulfur is found in group 16, and it is a reactive nonmetal. And then the fluorine is found in group 17, and it is a reactive nonmetal. So we have nonmetal, nonmetal, so it is a covalent bond. And finally, we have aluminum carbonate. Aluminum is found in group 13, and it is a post-transition metal. And then the CO3 is a polyatomic ion, so it is going to be an ionic bond. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.